Welcome everyone, I'm Amy Patti. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me um, for this 10 day journey to manifest your most sacred life. It's day eight and if you just happened upon this video, you can go down into the description and click on the link to the playlist and then you can begin this journey from day one and work through all the exercises which really lay just a great foundation for today's exercise. So go back and um, I'll see you when you get here. So for those of you that have been coming along for the ride, we're gonna set a sacred space um, and tune into our own sacred self to begin today's um, lesson. So you can come into a comfortable seat and feel free to let your eyes come to close and just take a nice deep breath, breathing in through the nose. And feel free to just sigh out through an open mouth. Yeah, just starting to clear any distractions so you can come back and deeply connect to yourself, tapping your own sacredness. Relaxing through your body. And I'm gonna use the singing bowl today um, the energy of sound to further facilitate um, the activation of a sacred space for us today. One more nice deep breath, breathing in, claiming this moment as sacred, breathing out, just relaxing into yourself. Great, and then if you'd like to just keep sitting with your eyes closed for just a few more moments, feel free. I'm going to pick a star card, um, which I've been doing on every video to just give us a little energetic guidance um, for our process today. All right, let's see what the star cards have to say today for us. All right. This feels perfect. Clear unworthiness. <sighs> All right, so it's a big one. And um, again, it just relates to, I feel like anytime we are moving, moving forward in our life, we are claiming um, a bigger, better, more bold life for ourselves, going after our heart's truest desires. Um, I feel, at least for myself, almost always there's there's signs of unworthiness that creep up. Um, and that's that voice in the head that says, oh, I don't know if that's for you, or I don't know if you can really have that, even though these other people have it. Um, it's that voice that creeps up. It's connected to unworthiness energy. And so um, go ahead and just take a breath right now, breathing in. Um, to clear that unworthiness energy and just exhale it out. Great. And chances are, if you've been writing down any blockages that come up for you as you've gone through some of those writing exercises, um, you could probably go back and read through them and relate a lot of what you wrote down just to this like foundational um, energy of unworthiness. Right. So great card for today, clearing that unworthy energy. So yesterday you were to write um, a, a story basically about the day and the life of you with your your heart's desire fully manifest um, so you were living breathing moving feeling doing with that that um, thing uh, real in your life so hopefully that was an illuminating process for you maybe you downloaded even more insight around what it is that you want and today we are going to um, start to think about taking action. So I mentioned this in maybe it was the last video or previous one of the previous videos, 
Um, you can daydream all you want, you can imagine all you want, visualize all you want, you can use affirmations all you want, you can build altars and pray all you want, but at some point um, you are going to have to take some kind of action. So even if, if everything that you, you know, even if this one thing that you want, you know, you've sat and you've meditated and visualized it and it shows up miraculously on your doorstep, chances are you're going to have to get up and walk to the door, open it and receive that into your life, right? So there is always some action that you need to take. And so today your exercise is really simple. Again, you're gonna just pull out a nice sheet of paper, write down your desire, what it is that you want. Um, if you'd like in the center of the paper or on the top of the paper, it depends on you know visually what you prefer. And you're gonna start to free write. Um, again, so this is just you just kind of letting letting stream of, of thought flow out of you through the pen onto the paper about what actions do you need to take for your desire to um, come forth in your life? Um, what needs to happen, right, for you to manifest what it is that you want? So if that is your, your exercise today and, and just just have have fun with it. Um, spend some time with that. And let's see, it's day eight. Okay, that's all I'm gonna give you for today. Um, I like to keep these lessons as, as short and sweet as possible. So spend time just writing down anything you can think of that would need to happen. And um, and this is like your your free time, right? So you get to to think big, be bold, and you know if it's um, if you want to manifest. Your, the love of your life, for instance, um, you can you can dream up, you know, like the best scenario. So like maybe one of your actions would be like, I go to a party and then something else that needs to happen would be a friend introduces me to their friend who's single, who, you know, so you can get really creative, but just, but just start to think about all of the actions that need to happen, all of the things that need to happen to make this real for you and um, it's great if a lot of the actions are ones that you are gonna do <laughs> or that you play a part in okay um, but but if you end up kind of you know drawing in other people um, drawing in miracles from the universe that's okay too. put it all down on the paper um, and then tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna kind of um, tweak it a little bit more and go deeper as always. So that's your exercise. If you have any questions, any comments, um, please leave them down below for me and I will respond and give you some feedback, give you some ideas, suggestions, answer any questions that you have. And um, it's fun to share in the comments. I'm always like, leave a comment because I love to hear about people's process. This is the reason I'm sharing this content is because I love it. It's exciting for me. I'm a creator and so I love when people are consciously creating. I love to hear about the process and take part in it with them and um, it just brings me a lot of joy. So if you feel inclined, please share. I would love to, to hear what's going on for you um, with this journey. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to keep clearing any unworthiness energy that might come up for you. And even as you're writing down those actions, you can have your other sheet of paper that says blockages on the top and jot down anything that comes up that feels like resistance, anything telling you you can't have what you want. So that's the scoop for today. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for day nine. We're almost done with this journey. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.